Hey, what's up there, everybody? So not too long ago, about a week ago, Samsung just announced four new tablets, and they call it their Pro Series. But now after a couple weeks of rumors and speculations, leaks and different things like that about another new tablet, it seems that Samsung has finally revealed yesterday the new Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 Lite. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 Lite is actually their low budget tablet for anybody out there who's not looking to spend three to four hundred dollars on a brand new tablet. This is that answer for them. Now taking a look at the release specs for this tablet, as the name suggests, the Galaxy Tab 3 Lite, it is a little bit light on the spec side. So here are the major specs. It can be powered by a 1.2 GHz dual core processor, 7 inch 1024 by 600 pixel display, a 2 megapixel rear camera with no front facing camera, 1 GB of RAM, and 8 gigabytes of internal storage with a micro SD card for expandable up to 32 gigabytes. It's going to have a 3600 milliamp hour battery with Samsung states that it's going to be able to last up to 8 hours of video playback on a single charge. And sadly, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean out the box so we won't be seeing Android KitKat when it is released. So those were the main specs. Now we're going to take a little comparison from the Tab 3 Lite and last year's model. Taking a look at the dimensions, you can actually tell and see that the Tab 3 Lite is just a bit bigger than the Tab 3 from last year, as well as it weighs just a tiny bit more. Many features on the Tab 3 Lite actually match those on the current Tab 3, while others have actually been removed. Overall, Samsung is showing the new Lite Edition for its slimmer and more portable design. The Tab 3 Lite will be available in two different models, a 3G model as well as a Wi-Fi model. It will also be available in two different colors, black and white. So they announced everything, the specs, two different colors that it's going to be available in, the two different versions, Wi-Fi and the cellular version, but they have not actually released the release date or any type of price point for this tablet. Now there are some speculations and rumors that suggest that the tablet is going to be around $165 for the Wi-Fi version and $265 for the cellular version in Europe. So now Euro's currency is a bit higher than it is here in the United States, so we might actually see this tablet price a little bit lower, maybe around $100 to $150 for the Wi-Fi version and $200 to $250 for the cellular version. But now the Samsung tablet is released for around $100 to $140. I see no problem in actually purchasing this tablet. It's a good tablet to just throw around, to have on the side, maybe even bring to school with you, do different things like that, but at the price point of $165 to $265 for the cellular version, that's a little bit pricey. I might actually just go ahead and buy a Nexus 7 tablet for that if not. Now on the other hand is Samsung actually does release this tablet for $100 to $120 on the Wi-Fi version, then I actually suggest getting this. For the low range budget tablet that it is, $100 to $120 is not bad at all. And if you're someone out there who actually doesn't have a tablet at the moment and was suggested on buying a 